Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to walk you through the process of making a Kydex knife case. Now I actually am doing this in reverse. I already did all these steps for you and showed you I'm doing this beginning part at the end so you can see kind of the finished product here, uh, what they look like. But basically this is what we're making. And I already made it and I already did the whole steps with you so but it'll be, you'll see it after this part. So I'm doing it kind of reverse order. But that's what we're going to be making today. A Kydex knife sheath for my Azula knife. Uh, this this one here that I did is 0 .08. Uh, thickness. I made this a few weeks ago for it. I love it. It's a great one. I just got a new shipment in a 0.6, uh, yeah, 0.06 gauge. Uh, so it's thinner, thinner um, Kydex than what that is. And I wanted to make one out of it. So that's the whole purpose of doing this. So there it is. But all you need to do this is you need Kydex, which I have Kydex right here. I buy it by a sheet full. There's, you know, all kinds in here. Here's a piece right here I can actually show you uh, right here. But it comes as a big sheet like you see here, 12 inches by 24 inches is how I buy them. Uh, and then you just basically cut it to whatever size piece you need. You take your knife, you lay your knife on there right here, and you realize, okay, I got enough material to flip over, so I got plenty of stuff to work with. And then you just cut, you score it with a carpenter knife and snap it off like you would a piece of plexiglass. It comes apart. But that's your Kydex stuff there that you're going to use. And you will need a Kydex tool, which is this guy right here. Not very expensive, but this little punch is what lets you use these little rivets uh, to actually make these rivets in here. So, and I show you how to do this in the process up there. Sharpie marker marks my holes. This sandpaper is for finishing off the fine edges on here. When you make the case, you can finish off your edges and smooth them all out. Dremel with a diamond wheel on there, which I'll show you in there too as well. That allows you to cut the access Kydex off. Heat gun is if you uh, don't make it 100% perfect to begin with and you have to open the head up more or change something or if it's too snug or not tight enough, uh, you can heat it up with a heat gun to fix that, which I'll show you. Hammer is just basically to knock down the uh, rivets when you're setting them. And you need a quarter inch. If you're using quarter inch eyelets or rivets, I'm using quarter inch. If you're using those, you're going to need a quarter inch drill bit just so you can drill your holes right here through your kydex boom 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 and then you pop your rivets in them and you take this thing you pull it out which you'll see in a video but you set it right on this spot right there so it falls on here line it up like that so it's in there bam hit it with a hammer and it sets those rivets in there for you just like that so uh follow along i'm going to show you how to do it start to finish you'll also need a couple pieces of foam here which i got uh, right here, these are you buy these actually from knifekits.com, which is where I buy all this stuff. You get everything from knifekits.com. Um, this foam is actually designed for this. It's a high heat foam. It works great. Uh, these two green pieces I use for uh, the bigger knives, my Kirkies and uh, uh, the machete cases we make and uh, a couple of the bigger knives just because these 12 inch ones aren't big enough. So they're just a piece of an old floaty foam that I cut that I use for that. So uh, sweet and simple, but that's what you need. Uh, you need some foam. You need some Kydex. Uh, and uh, you need a couple of the uh, rivets right here. You need the rivet tool, just like that. And, uh, you know, a couple little accessories. Not too bad. It's a real simple process. I'm going to take you in. We're going to go in there right now and go through each of these steps as how I ended up making this knife case right here is what we're actually going to build. So uh, we'll get into it right now. Okay, as you can see here, I got that sheet of Kydex that I went out there, snapped and cut off. I got it set right in here in the oven. I got the oven's only on 114 right now, but it's actually, I got it set for 250. Uh, so it's gonna actually get up to there, but I'm gonna let that cook in there for a few minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's time to take it out. See, now once it gets like this, where it's real flimsy and flippy and you know real soft, that's when it's getting to be about time to pull that out of there. Once those edges start curling over, that's when it's soft and pliable and ready to work with. And I will now set the camera up so you can see how to fold it over the knife. Okay, for this part, I'm putting on a jersey glove just because it does get a little hot to handle that stuff. I got my one piece of foam on the ground, another piece of foam right here. I'm going to set my knife right by here because I'm going to use that in a second. This is handy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab that piece of Kydex. I'm going to put it shiny side up. You want the, the flat side out. So I got shiny side up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to set it in there like I want it to be. Right about there. And then I'm going to fold this over on itself like that. I'm going to set that. I'm going to grab this piece of foam. I'm going to put it shiny side down so they match. I'm going to set it right on top of this just like that. I'm going to take my cutting board. And I'm going to set my cutting board right on top of here too. Kind of keeping the pressure on there so it doesn't shift around. Setting that like that. And then I'm going to stand on here. 
And now I'm going to stand on there for probably 10 minutes and uh, give that a chance to cool and solidify and let it lock itself into form. And uh, then I'll show you what it looks like after that. But I'm going to stand here for about 10 minutes. I'll be back. All right, I just stepped off there. I'm going to take this cutting board, set the cutting board up here for a minute. Grab both pieces of foam, put this where you can see it so it's there. I'm going to lift the top piece of foam off. And there's what we have. And now we have basically a piece of Kydex that is formed to that knife. You can kind of see the edge of the knife here where it is. And that knife is in there. Um, and it is perfect set. It's going to be locked here, here, and here for three set lock on there like that. And just jam it all together nice and perfect. But there it is. All sealed. That's basically what you're looking for right there. Now we're going to then, I'll take you out there. We're going to cut this off. Round that off, trim it up, put the tacks in there, lock it down, lock it into place. But that's basically what you do with that heater and taking, giving it that shape so that it forms. Uh, now the rest of it we're going to go do in the shop. Okay, so we just got this out of the jig or out of the foam. So I got it here. What I did is I actually, I don't know if you can see them, but I put three little marks with just a red Sharpie marker where I want to drill my holes to actually have my... Uh, my rivets go into so basically from here on out I'm not going to have the knife in the case You don't want to drill these and rivet those in there um, And then have that locked down and you can't get the knife out It's better to have it the knife out and be able to work it back in so I'm pulling the knife out I'm setting that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and drill my three holes in there So I just take my regular drill here and I'm gonna line that up on there about right on that hole and I'm gonna drill I'm using a quarter inch drill bit so I'm using quarter inch uh, eyelids. There's different sizes, but those are what I'm using. So this is I'm using a quarter inch, just like that. Got one more right here. There's my three holes through there, just like that. Make sure they're nice and clean. No no rough spots on there to jam anything up. So that's all cleaned off. Now I'm going to use this rivet tool right here. Okay, you can buy this. It's about twenty bucks. You buy it for the size quarter inch rivets is what I'm using. So I buy it for that. Basically, you take your rivets or eyelets or whatever they are, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to need three of them. So I got one, two, three. I'm going to pop them right into the holes. Boom, like that. I'll we'll pop that one in that hole, just like that. And that one in that hole, just like that. Now, sometimes I may not be able to reach in all the way to here. That one I can, but if you can't, you may have to trim some of this access off ahead of time. I can fit all these, so I'm going to not trim it right now. I'll trim it afterwards, but I'm going to set that right on that rivet spot right there like that. Set that in there that way. So it's in there. Take my hammer here, and I'm going to... Line it up on there, get it set, and I'm going to pound it down. And then I'm going to go to the next one. Get that to seat in there like that, set that, and I'm going to pound it down. Just to seat those rivets. Those rivets are now set all the way around. Boom, boom. Oh, sorry. There you go. You can see it. Set all the way. Set all the way around just like that. Perfectly done. Now I'm going to use uh, a different tool here. Basically, that's done. Now I'm going to use a Dremel. With a diamond bit cutoff blade, you can get these at Home Depot or anywhere. They're really cheap to get those, but these work really good. These little small diamond blades, they work phenomenal for this. I'm going to use that to cut off the access leftover part of this before I get into the final detail and grinding. Always wear safety glasses when you're doing this. And be very careful because this thing does like to jump around and it'll cut, it'll cut you to pieces. Okay, So you want to be careful with this when you're doing it. And so I'm going to take this like this. And like that, I'm going to run this off. And I'm going to just cut this. Like that. Now how I do it because I'm left handed, I'm actually holding a Dremel steady and I'm running this around is what I'm actually doing here. So cut this a little more. Just to trim that up. Doesn't have to be perfect, just got to be close because I'm going to do the final work on the grinder. You can use a sander, you can use anything you want to, you can, you know, fine tune all that kind of stuff. Rest of that right there, I'm going to actually shape that on my grinder. It lets me get nice, clean, round edges like I want on there. So now we're going to go over there to that, which uh, I will make sure you can see here. Uh, just like that right there. 
And I'm going to turn this dude on. I need my glasses again. Hang on, I left my glasses somewhere over here. I'm going to grab my glasses. They're kind of fogging up because it's like 90 degrees out here. There we go. And then I'm just going to clean those edges up on there with that grinding wheel. Like that. I don't need all that extra on the end, so I'm going to take that end down. Round that off. Just like that. Okay, that part's done. Now I gotta clean this end up here because see we got this extra edge here. It's not even from where I folded. I'm gonna clean that up real fast. Make sure that's even out good. I'm gonna round that out a little better. Like so. Just like that. That's set. That's set. That's good. Now I'm just going to look at that and make sure I want to clean that edge just there, there, like that. Once you have it evened out like you want and basically made in the shape that you want, now I'm going to just kind of real lightly take off the outer edges of this uh, on that grinder just because uh, I'm lazy, but I don't want that sharp edge. Or it's not real sharp anyway, but I want to kind of tone that down uh, just a touch, which is what I'm going to do right now. Like that on that side. Like that on that side, and that part is done. Now, we, for all practical purposes, have a knife case. Needs a little fine tuning, but there it is. That's it. Right there. That's all there is to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to sand this on sandpaper just to smooth that out. I'm going to sand in there a little bit to smooth it out. We're going to check the fit of the knife. So we come back over to here where you can see everything over here. Let me close that, move that camera just a touch like that. And then I'm going to take my glasses off. Let's see how the knife works. See how it fits already right now? If it does it all, let's see here. Hang on. Make sure you get all this crap out of there. The leftover residual or residue in there from when you were drilling holes and all that grinding. Sometimes you get a couple pieces left in there like that. Pull it up. Okay, let's see here. All right, and it fits. And that's nice, snug, perfect, great fit. Phenomenal fit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a piece of uh, sandpaper. Uh, what I'm going to use, we're going to use. A uh, thousand grit just because that's what I got sitting right here. It makes no difference what you use it just if it's a lighter grit You got to work a little harder like this kind of thing, but uh, clear that crap out of the way So you can see it right here I'm gonna take this then all I'm gonna do is just rub this just to clean those edges up where I just got done doing that I'm just smoothing that edge out. So it's real nice and neat just like this Just working it on that sandpaper for a minute just to clean it up good All the way around everywhere. I just did that grind on there like that, a little bit more here on the end, around the, around the tips, like so. There's no art or science to it, it's just basically cleaning up edges. Nothing fancy, just get it done. Okay, and let's go around this one. And there we have it. I mean, that there is what we call a Kydex knife case, sweet, simple, all done, cleaned out nice, good edge, I mean everything about that, that's perfect, that's all you need, ultra lightweight, ultra simple, take your knife, 
Slide your knife right in there, holds it, it's not going nowhere, comes out easy if you want it to come out. That's all there is to it. Now, uh, this one fortunately worked out absolutely perfect. If it did not, and I had to make any more minor adjustments to this for the fit, or to try and get it so that it would close better or something like that, that's where a heat gun comes in real handy. You just plug a heat gun in, you just take it, blow a little heat on there for a second like that, and then you can mold it with your fingers, squeezing it, press it, pry it open. Uh, sometimes I'll take a uh, screwdriver, um, or you could use something like I use the back of this pencil a lot too for the bigger knives, but I'll, I'll take the knife out, I'll heat that up with that heat gun, you know, just take this and heat it up real quick like that for a second. I'll stick something like this in there that I can actually pry that open or bend it with or a screwdriver or something that if you need to mold it a little bit more, works like a champ. This time, uh, it came out 100% perfect. This knife case is completely done. It is set. That's all there is to it. It's finished. I'm going to put a little piece of paracord lanyard on there so that I can carry it just like I do uh, this one here that it is replacing how I have this cord right on here. This is another one. This is nice This one I made out of 0 0.8 0 0.08 thickness uh, Kydex and I did it because that was all I had left now I just got a big order in where I got some 0 0.06 and you can see the thickness difference uh, between these two you can see how thick the, the difference is between there uh, so the 0.08 one is great but it's a little overkill for this Azula and since I had the six I wanted this for lighter weight and a little more slimmer profile so uh, that's the reason I'm remaking it but here's the same same exact thing that I just got done making same same thing I made this one a couple weeks ago when I, I did for this knife when I started carrying this uh, new Azula um, my other Azula, like I said, it was amazing, but uh, it was actually starting to get a little wore down to a point where I thought, you know what, I got five of these sitting in a shelf that I've had for years in my in my my knife drawer, and I wanted to break out a new one, so I took that one, turned it, put it in my tackle box, and grabbed a new one. I don't like having the finish on the blade, so this one I basically just sanded off uh, the finish off there, left it on the handle for protection, but that and then I put a patina on there uh, a couple weeks ago. It's starting to wear off, but that's patinaed. And then I have that uh, now, but now I got a 0 .60 case right there, just like that, ultra light and perfect. But that's how you make Kydex. So thanks for watching. I'll be back with more stuff soon. And uh, it's Jason with the Traditional Bull Hunting Wilderness Podcast, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.